Hello and welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing well. So in this video, we are going to take a deep dive and learn about one of the most famous file format, which is redefining how we store as well as process the data, which is a parquet file format. So without further any ado, let's get into it. In this video, we are going to unveil the secrets of parquet file format and also will unravel its unique features and how it has become the pivotal point in the data engineering field. So the first question you may ask, what really is a parquet file format? So parquet file format is a open source columnar based storage format and it is born to address some of the limitations which are there with the CSV as well as the JSON format which are like the most popular formats in the data world. So one of the most standout features of a parquet is its columnar storage approach which brings us a lot of benefits. So you may ask why we should use it and what are their main advantages. So this parquet file format is very storage efficient. So it organizes the data in such a way that it reduces the redundancy as well as it improves the efficiency of the compression of the data. So the second advantage of it is like it's blazing fast for analytic queries and you can only read the columns you need in your output results, which makes it a very good choice for complex queries, which minimizes the input output operations. And at the last, it also supports the complex data types which is ideal for the nested as well as the structured data. But that's not all. Parquet is all about the compatibility. So it is not limited to any programming language. You can use Parquet file format in various tools in the big data world like Apache Spark, Hadoop and what's not. There are so many tools can integrate with the Parquet file format which makes it a very ideal choice and it has gained immense popularity because of its capabilities and the benefits it brings on the table. So now let's talk about how it works under the hood. So when you ingest any data in a parquet file format, it arranges that data into columnar fashion. So if you are talking about the CSV format, you know that your data is stored as a row format, but here your data is stored as a columnar based approach, which makes it very helpful for analyzing as well as submitting the complex queries on top of your data. So let's say if your table has a lot of columns like 100 columns, but you are only needing three to four columns in your data set and the final query results, then you can use the parquet file format, which is like very efficient. And since it stores the data in a columnar fashion, Let's say if you want to select only three columns from that data frame as well as including your all logic to those columns only, then it needs to scan only those particular columns since it will go column to column search. But if you are using CSV or a JSON file format, it has to scan the whole table no matter if you need three columns or four columns in your final results. So that makes it a good choice for any big data application. So if you are a data engineer and you want to work with a parquet file format, then you can easily do that. It totally depends on your data framework, but it can integrate with various tools that I've already mentioned like Apache, Spark, Hadoop, as well as Pandas. So using it and converting your existing format to the parquet file format is a pretty straightforward process. We are going to see that in our upcoming lectures where we will see how to work with a parquet file format. But I have already used it in the our Apache PySpark tutorial. It is like a 25 lecture full course for every beginners out there who want to eagerly learn the Apache PySpark from scratch. So I highly recommend you to go to that and let me know in the comments if you like that series. So let's talk about the use cases of the parquet file format. So parquet file format is very efficient as for storing as well as analytics. So it is like one of the best formats for every analytics purpose. And that's why data scientists and data engineers love it because it is space efficient as well as you can turbocharge your queries and it will help us in query optimization as well. Because since your data is growing day by day, you need that storage efficiency as well as the turbocharged SQL queries. So that's why Parquet has a lot of use cases in the big data world. So now let's talk about the challenges and the consideration. 
because every tool has its own benefits as well as its cons. So let's talk about the cons now. So it is not that every data framework can work efficiently with a parquet file format. So you have to check the compatibility of your tool and the architecture and you have to analyze first if you really need that parquet file format because it is not that parquet is like the ideal choice for every use case. Let's say we know that it is efficient as well as it turbocharges your queries but it is only limited to the bigger data files. But if you are working with frequently changing small data files then I don't think that parquet is the best format out there. You should consider the other robust formats like CSV or JSON and more. So you have to first think that if your parquet file format is going to adapt and compatible with your current framework as well as what type of data and the volume of data you are handling. So there you have it. This is all you need to know about the parquet file format. No matter if you are a data analyst, data engineer or the data scientist, parquet file format deserves attention because of its great storage efficiency along with the better performance in the analytics queries. So if you like this video, hit subscribe as well as turn the notification bell to get the latest updates. Thanks for watching.